We are the Falco family. Brian, Serena, Cameron, Kendall, and Savannah. We're a family of five driven by purpose and fueled by love. We decided to trade in the traditional school life for a life where every day is an adventure of faith and love. From a small photography business grew a love of memory keeping and filmmaking that turned into a full-blown dream of becoming a family of filmmakers exploring the truth about education. So we're learning to document our adventures in homeschool, business, and life and tell stories of how we live and what we learn. Stuff is all over the place in our schoolroom. Started moving things around, and I said, Serena, pick up the camera, friend. Sweep underneath stuff. Reorganize your thoughts in your mind. This is what it's looking like right now. Um, I did have this right here in this corner over here, but I'm going to move it back out into the studio space because we have not been using the studio space, and I think it's about time that we use it. I need it to be like a proper office space and that has been a forever problem around here but we're just going to keep making our way through that issue okay um we have to make room for everybody that's in here functioning and working and things like that and we're really just trying to like tear it all down so we can build it all back up <laughs> <laughs> say hello hello <laughs> we lost our fish buddy he's been with us for so long and has been such a big part of our homeschool lives, but that was super sad news. Love him. He's super cute, and we're trying to make him a nice new home where our buddy used to live. So I need to go through all of these drawers and clean them out, declutter. Look at that. Anyway, just need to declutter, reorganize. It is time we are giving our new fishy a new home. Captain Flair. <laughs> what are you doing? Yes! She's looking up books right now. Let's go check the garden, Mama. Some tomatoes right there. These are standing up this morning. My tower garden looks good, um, but I do need to turn it around. I do need to rotate it because clearly we've got lots of goodness on this side where it gets most of the sun. On this side, not so much. Turn her around. Savannah's flower garden looks amazing. How many, so she asked me how many letters There's are in like the words we've said in our whole lives? Trillion, 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 trillion. <laughs> Have fun with that. We'll find any reason to use her mama's phone. It's it's so much that they added an E. Yes. We are getting ready to clean out the homeschool room. <laughs> I've taken far too long to get this accomplished. We're watching Luca in the background. I just got the kids some lunch. We're gonna work our way through these books and things, friends. These books and things. Because our shelves look a mess. And it's time to reimagine some things and get ready for the year. Okay, I decided <laughs> that all the rest of 2021 and beyond, I'm showing up as my whole self. It's hard to do that on the camera, but we're gonna give it a try. I'm a little bit extra. <laughs> but those of you that have belonged to my friends club for a while already know that. And let us get into it and have a little bit more fun. Just in case you wanted a preview as to what you're about to get from your friend. Yeah, just look at Savannah. <laughs> Well, look at the girl. She gets it from somewhere. She gets it from her mama. So my books or most of our books um, at least moved into this space I do this every single year um, the kids do have their own stack of books on their bookshelves in their rooms but I try to just kind of 
take account of everything that I have so that I can go ahead and start working my way through it and building piles off of things that I need to let go of, um, things that we're going to keep. I'm hoping to keep a very small amount this time around. So my goal right now, you guys, is just to clean everything out. Um, I wanna make what I feel like is somewhat minimal, even more minimal um, and streamlined so that everything is labeled and everybody knows where things are so that they can do what they need to do, um, how they want to do it. So that's the goal. I need to sweep in all those things, but at least the bookshelf is mostly cleaned out and the goal is to try and move it around. So I think I'm gonna try to put the bookshelf back over here where it originally started last year. I wanna see how that feels. So this is the progress that I've made. <laughs> um, I have been feeling a bit overwhelmed, so I've just been taking my time because I like this process and I am refusing to be overwhelmed right now. So this is the way it is. Um, the last time I had this bookshelf over in this space, I moved it because I felt like it was super cluttered, but this year we are going for it, friends. <laughs> Good morning. So I'm gonna get these books up onto our little front-facing bookshelf. Yes, mommy. Here, um, I've got our maps that I think for now I'm gonna put up on this wall here. I have both of these fully blown up and the kids are really enjoying these so far, so good. And I mean, <laughs> I did finally convince Cameron to put his previously read books on these shelves and I thought we were all good until I woke up and realized that they were no longer there. So he decided that he needed to put them back in his room. That's it, that's all, okay? <laughs> so, um, and then I've got their new book bags all nice and ready to go here. Inside of their bags are their um, pencil cases and their wallets for now. Um, but when it is time to go, we will stuff them with their journals, um, their sketchbooks, and their notebooks, which are currently on my teacher cart. I moved um, all of their, like, I guess, curriculum that we planned out and pulled together. All of those specific curriculum books or whatever I have stuffed into these little, we used to use them as morning baskets, and we just use them for whatever works. We've had them for years. And I love being able to just kind of move things around and do with them what we need to do with them. So right now they're holding curriculum stacks, basically all of the resources that are specific to what we have planned out as um, their little course of study is I guess what I want to say, which freed up a few extra shelves on um, our bookshelf got some free space here that I'm gonna clean that off and I think what I'm gonna do there is put up these their chore charts and rewards chart and then this is our seven day reading challenge that I'm going to laminate this or well, I'm gonna print them out separately laminate both of those so that I can put all four of these up here on this board and then I want to get um, some starter study cards into these little pockets here for us to work through for the first few weeks that go along with our unit that we have picked to try and focus on or at least I begin focusing these. on. I took all of these um, down after spending forever and a decade trying to configure them the way that I wanted to. <laughs> and I took them down so that I could use them during my live stream with our friends club last night. I had to take a picture so I could remember what it looked like. <laughs> this is my current life right now. Just looking at this picture so that I can get all of these back 
into the spaces that I wanted them to go so that it can look like this again. The kids are out in the garden harvesting what they can from my rough and raggedy garden this year. <laughs> that is still producing fruit by the way so gotta love that for um lessons so we have our maps up on the wall that is a quick fix for now we have referenced these so much but have not actually scratched them off the map like we should have so that's okay because um we will get plenty of time to do that this year and I'm excited about it. So um, the ones that we have scratched off are the smaller ones that I have rolled up over here and tucked away in this corner. So these bigger ones, I have not really, we haven't really um, scratched off. So that is just the gift that keeps on giving, the geography gift that keeps on giving, friends. The room is looking nice and ready for this year's gap year festivities i still have to get this up on the wall though so gotta love when um i get that notification from the library that more of my books are in <laughs> super cute and chop full of things to help us along the way school year um our gap year so not so much school <laughs> but a whole lot of discovery and exploration and we're so very excited so this is what our room looks like it's the same stuff just kind of sorted through and moved around and simplified and I kind of love it I'm really excited about all the things we'll learn and ways we'll grow together this year this is my teacher cart it is all nice and um, decluttered, ready for me to cart around for the day. I break down what is on this teacher cart and how I put it together on our friends club. I also walk through how I handle sorting through and prepping our resources um, and the new things that we get for the year or that we specifically got for this year. Um, all of those types of videos are we share over on our friends club so if you're interested in that you can head over to our website and check out more information on our friends club. My goal really for this year was to prep and make sure that I had things nice and in order for the kids to grab whatever they need at any given time. We are excited to document this gap year and I wanted to make sure that um, all of our resources kind of had a place to be to make it easier for the kids to just kind of do what they do best. Still haven't shared where our camera equipment for documenting for this documentary just yet because I haven't figured that out yet but I'm kind of thinking it might go somewhere in this location to make it really easy to just grab and go. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, there is going to be a little series of blog posts just kind of breaking down the steps that I take and prepping the school room for the new year. So if you want to head over to the blog at thefallquillfamily.com and browse through our series on how I step-by-step -step break down prepping and getting ready for the new year. I would love to hear all about your homeschool spaces where you do your living and learning whether it is in a homeschool room or at a dining room table or um, on the road in an RV. 
or in the classroom. We'd love to hear it all. What are some of your favorite places to live and to learn? Life is so very full of lessons and our goal, as always, friends, is to live and to learn. Don't, Don't forget, forget to subscribe! subscribe.